Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to fix Cyberpunk 2077 is having an issue with crashing. It is not plunging or it is freezing, structuring, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen, and even many more issues which is happening and how we can fix this up. So let's dive into the work now. So the first one is all about we have to start with a simple restart. So just go over here in the start icon. Just go over here in this power icon over here and do a restart. Once the restart is done, we just need to try launch the game and you have to check whether the issue is solved or not. Still, if you're having the trouble, we need to move to the next one. That is all about we need to launch the game from the installation folder, not from the Steam. So right now we are in the Steam. So launching the game from Steam might be an issue. So we need to launch the game from the installation folder. So just go over here, right click and go to the properties. Click on install it file and make sure where is the game is installed. So the game is installed on B. So just close this and we have to go back over here in the file explorer. And now go to this PC. And now we need to go to local disk D. And this is where the game is installed in my case. So go to Steam library, Steam apps, go to common. Now from here, we have to go to Cyberpunk 2077. Now from here, we have to just launch the game. So we need to launch the game from here or we need to get into the bin folder, x64. Right now you can see the Cyberpunk 2077 is here. So we need to launch the application from here. So try launch the game from the installation folder, not from the Steam. The next one, we need to run the game as an administrator and we need to run the game in the compatibility demo. So to do this, just right click over here, go to show more option, go to the properties. Now go to the compatibility and make sure you have to click on run this program in the compatibility mode. Set this to Windows 7, first one and go to apply or you can set this to Windows 8, go to apply. Next one, click on run this program as an administrator, go for apply and go for OK. And once everything is being set, just use this and we have to go back and try launching the key. Next one is all about what we need to do, we just need to delete the saved game file so if you start playing the game and saving each levels of the game you'll be having a separate folder so just go over here in the file explorer <coughs> go to documents now from here if we go over here into my games we'll be having a separate folder for cyberpunk 2077 so just delete the respective folder and keep in mind when you delete this you'll be losing all the provisions of the game and you have to start from the scratch but even though that is fine we can do this and once afterwards just use this and we have to go back and try launching the game next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to allow the game to windows security so just go over here search for the control panel we have to search for the control panel and click on this one and now click on system and security go to windows defender firewall now from here go to allow an airport feature through windows defender firewall now from here scroll down and navigate to cyberpunk 2077 so over here, as you can see, Cyberpunk 2077 is added. Make sure you put a check on both the boxes, that is private and public. You have to put a boxes, check on both the boxes. And imagine if the game is not here, we have to add it by default. So just click on the change setting, go to allow another app, go to the browse. Now from here, go to this PC, go to lock list D, go to Steam library, Steam apps, go to common. Navigate to Cyberpunk 2077, go to bin folder, put x64, select this one and go to open. So once you add it, put a check on both the boxes. You have to put a check on both the boxes and once it is done, just close everything, go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about what we need to do. So we just need to unclick all the USB devices. So you might be connected with a lot of peripherals. For example, external joysticks might be connected or any external devices might be connected. So these things are causing the issue. So just unplug everything. So just go over here, right click, go to the manage, just unplug everything. And once afterwards, try launch the game. Still, if you're having the trouble, we need to perform a clean boot. So just go over here, search for system configuration, search for system configuration. Click on this one. Now from here, go to services. Now make sure you have to disable or go to hide all Microsoft services. Go to apply and go for OK. Now do a restart. Once a restart is done, just close this and try launch the game. Stay if you're having the trouble, we need to move to the next one. That is all about what we need to do. So we just need to disable the Steam overlay. 
So just go over here, right click, go to the properties. Make sure if they enable the Steam overlay while in game, if it is turn it on, turn this off and try launch the game. Still, if you're having the trouble, just go over here, go to DX level. We have to start with DX level. If DX11 is not working, start with DX12. If DX12 is not working, start with D3, D2. You have to try with D3, D2. Stay if you're having the trouble, just remove everything, close this and try lunge the game. Stay if you're having the trouble, we need to move to the next one. Next one is nothing but what we need to do. We just need to close all the overlay applications. So just go over here in the game, right click, go to the task manager. And right there, as you can see, there are a lot of things running in the background. So if you check right now, there are 50, sorry, 45 apps running in the background. And all these things are actually utilizing the performance. So whenever you are trying to launch the Cyberpunk 2077, if these things are running in the background, we'll be definitely having the crashing issue. So just remove everything. For example, you can remove the unwanted thing. Gaming services can be removed, just remove it. Similarly, for the antivirus can be removed. 60 security remove all these unwanted things and once everything is successfully removed just use this and you have to go back and try launching the game stay if you're having the trouble what we need to do is we just need to run the game on dedicated graphics card so just go over here search for the graphics settings click on this one and we just need to go over here click on add desktop app now from here we have to navigate to the installation folder go to local list the steam library steam apps go to common now from here, go to Cyberpunk 2077, go to bin folder, go to x64, select this one and go to end. So right now, once the game is added, you can see the game is added successfully. Just go over here and click on this one. Now from here, GPU preferences is let Windows aside. Change this to high performance. And once it say change into high performance, just use this and go back and try launching the key. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to Increase the virtual memory. So just go over here, search for view advanced system setting. So just search for view advanced system setting. Just click on this one. Go to advanced, go to settings, go to the advanced once again, go to change. Make sure this is blank and select where the game is installed. And in my case, it is local list D. So I have to select this one. Go to custom size, set the value initial size and the maximum size. So in initial size is 1.5 times the total RAM. So just type this. So just type your RAM. So the RAM of my computer is 16 GB. Multiply it with 1024. That brings you this value. Multiply it with 1.5. So that is this one. So copy this particular value and copy this and we have to paste it. Now type the RAM 16 GB. Multiply it with 1024. And you have to multiply it with 3. That is 14 and 152. So just copy this and we have to paste it. So just go over here. Paste everything. Okay. And once afterwards, just try launch the game. Still, if you're having the trouble, what we need to do is we just need to update the windows. So just go over here, search for settings. You can just go over here in the settings. Go to windows update over here and make sure that the windows is up to date. So you just need to update your windows, which is very important. And once afterwards, just close this and go back and try launch the game. Still, if you're having the trouble, what we need to do is we just need to we just need to update the graphics card. So I will provide a link in the description to both NVIDIA to the AMD. So the NVIDIA users just go over here, select everything. We have to select GeForce should be selected if you're on the GeForce. And GeForce 16 CG should be selected if you're on the 16. So right now I have selected everything according to my PC's configuration. Now go for find. Now you'll be getting a page. We're giving you a detail on the graphics card and the driver version. So just go over here and delete these versions and you have to download this one. If you're on the AMD, just go over here to select everything. The graphics should be selected. Radio Nara should be selected and 5000 CDs. Go over here and go to the submit. And if the system is based on Windows 11, download this one. If the system is based on Windows 10, you can download this one. And also if you're on the Microsoft Visual C++, just go over here. We can download x64 based on the system download this one if the system is based on x86 we can download this one and install restart as a mandatory and try launching the game after trying with this still if you're having the trouble you can try a few more steps which is can kind of consider as an important one one we need to verify integrity of game file so just go over here in the game right click go to the properties Go to installer file and just click on the verify integrity of game file. This is going to cross check every single files of a game. And if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this. 
So we just need to wait this to reach 100 percentage and I'll be showing you a bunch of steps that can be considered after this as well.
Now, as you can see, old files are successfully validated. So just use this and try launch the key. Stay if you're having the trouble, we need to uninstall and reinstall the key. So just go over here, right click, go to manage and uninstall the key. And we have to reinstall it back. But we should not be installing back on local disk D, but we have to try either C or E. We should not be installing back on the same local disk which you did already. So these are the steps, and I hope this video is helpful. So if you have any doubts, do ask in the comment sessions, and don't forget to visit our website gameserrors.com. So that's it. Bye.